Okay, Akumodo Crypto here, and here we have Bitcoin weekly chart. So, <clears throat> we have closed the week, and this is a spinning top, and this is, uh, for two weeks we had this, uh, this was a hammer, and this was a spinning top, and now we are trying again to touch the 200 standard, standard moving average, okay? As I, as I have said, uh, this is, uh, we are in between those, this is the 200, this is the 200 uh, exponential moving average, and this is the 200 standard moving average, we are in between those, and it's likely that we are going to test the 200 standard moving average again, okay, and look, look here, uh, the MACD, Perhaps we are gonna see some kind of touch between those two, okay? So it's a, it's an important point here. Perhaps a, a a tentative bullish cross here, okay? But that would imply that we are gonna change the trend. No, in my opinion, we are gonna change. We we won't change. We are gonna touch those lines, but we are gonna still be down. We are gonna still be below zero here below uh, in the in the downside region here as we have been since 2017 no i'm sorry 2018 okay but we might have this this would imply what something like hmm, something like this uh, they're gonna touch but we are really low on macd we are really low on the obv like look how low it is okay we might just go sideways like this for a long time okay we might just try to to find some support or some um some point of uh, some price that is really interesting for the market and then we would see a significant movement because what is happening now is that even though we had some movement uh yesterday it we are in we are forming this wedge okay and what i am calling here is this abc and i am proposing that we are gonna see a movement to the upside okay that we are gonna touch this th that we are gonna try again the 4k region this next support this re next resistance here the 4k region see here how the volume is is slowing down okay when the volume starts to slow down it's like here okay it's a moment of you see this line here is the is the the median line for for the volume it's started to getting really low 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 and then we see some kind of movement in this case we saw the movement going to the downside what i'm what i am um telling you guys is that we are going to see a retracement to the fourth wave here that would be like the the retracement the 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 retracement of this huge dump here that we called wave three and that this wave four of course then we would kind of perhaps we would that that would take more time than than we than we think we we don't need to go uh to the upside here we, we don't need to try to get to this c wave here now we might just get one more leg down go up and down go up down and then we go down perhaps one more week okay because we have space here you see and uh, but this is the direction that i see I, I, this is the one this is the two hour short beat stamp as i have proposed if you have been following me on uh, twitter i posted this uh on my twitter several times this chart here i was telling you guys this was the pattern right 13 minus 13 percent then six six percent then now we have four percent here and i think that we're gonna touch this minus 30 let me show you guys this minus 30 33 60 percent this is an algo target actually we have touched here the 786 see this might be done okay this might be it we see a huge uh retrace uh, a huge bearish divergence not huge bearish divergence but we might see one leg one more leg down but diversion okay uh one week here two weeks and then we would see 
perhaps we won't see another low. It's starting to diverge. So we have hit this 786. This is this is the 786 from this bottom here to the stop here, which I'm calling wave A. Okay, so this is what I'm calling the wave B. Okay, as you can see here, this is the wave B. This is the A, B, and C here. Okay, this is 786 retracement. Okay, we have touched it, as you can see here this line here and we we now it's likely that we would go up or that we are gonna try we are gonna go sideways for a while okay we might go sideways for a while perhaps one more week down one more week trying to get to those perhaps monetary a 20 percent here those targets here let me show you this target here and then we would go up but definitely I see weakness I see that of course the trend is down but I would recommend I would say that it's a nice place to start laddering some buys okay laddering some longs because it we are pretty low on the error side this is a two hour chart let's take a look at the four hour chart it's the same okay you see we have touched pretty lows. Uh, we have touched uh, here was a, the, a really significant low. If you can see, it was like, oh my goodness, this was three on the other side. We are far from three, but I don't think we are gonna touch again three, not now. Okay, Rem when we touch the the third wave here, which we, we were like diversion for a long time. See. But it, it, it might happen again, okay? It's not impossible, it's not all of the table, but I think that we are gonna finish this cycle here of of dumps, of uh, breaks to the downside. We are, we are gonna finish this fractal-like structure and then we are gonna go up, okay? Pretty much like here, A, B, exactly like here, sorry. A, B, and then C, and then we are gonna get those targets down here okay this is the 80 80 70 remember if we consider the whole retracement we are now below the 786 okay perhaps we're gonna re really retrace to the 80, 80 70 or even lower okay uh, those targets are not arbitrary remember if you have been following me I have sh I have shown you guys how to get those targets based on the retracement and the algo targets that might be in place. Okay, that's why I have those green lines here. But this 88070 would be a really good target to be focusing on, but for the long time. Okay, 2200. Okay, we have here 2500, and then we have 31. But 31 was the the end of this third third wave here as i am proposing here, okay so uh, this is the the weekly chart and uh, i think it's really important because if we close if we go below this 200 standing average moving average here if we start to challenge it and we break and we go below it then we, it's another story okay it's another story because this is a significant support okay if you go below it then of course we are gonna need to rethink about this count here okay i would need to reconsider it and assume a a, 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 a really bearish scenario okay we would have a one two one two and then you see a one, two, one, two, and then three, four, five. We would have a, we would have lower targets. This uh, thirty-one hundred here would be easily, easily broken. Okay. Um, and that's it for all. I think that we have that we are gonna see some green for the next week, for this week, and for the next week, we are gonna see some kind of. Uh, uh, some some kind of bullish uh, resistance some kind of bullish 
uh, moment, okay? But remember, guys, bear, the bear market is here. If you have a bearish, if you have a bullish momentum, don't forget that the trend is down, okay? Don't forget that the trend is going down. That we have plenty of signs indicating that we are not, we haven't finished it yet, okay? So uh, we are not. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching me. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't followed us, if you haven't joined us in our in our Discord group, it's totally free. Is the Crypto Trader Educational Institute. The link is down below. Okay. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. The, my Twitter handle is Acomado Crypto. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful week. And we we'll see you guys next one. Bye bye. Cheers.